get up your future is better than your past get up because your latter is better than your former i want to say to each and every one of you who is watching this video get up because your best is still yet to come to sirf aak moond ke mehnat karte jao aur apne manzil ke taraf bhagte chale jao kyunki manzil tumhare bahut kareeb hai mere dost Hi everyone, this is Shambhu Jit Desai. Welcome back to another video in my channel. Yes, आज का setup थोड़ा सा नया है. Hopefully आप सबको पसंद आएगा. In today's video, we will be discussing how to answer behavioral questions in interviews. Each and every kind of behavioral question has a certain pattern in which we need to answer. And here we will dive deep into these patterns and understand how to answer such questions. Not only this, I will also give you examples of some. of the behavioral questions this by no means is specific to amazon and the things that i will be discussing here ye sab jagah applicable hai be it leadership principles found in amazon be it googleness found in google or be it company values found in twilio and the other companies which take behavioral rounds so without further ado let's get started i will be taking the example of leadership principles in amazon and will be explaining you all about them i will explain what all things are necessary for you what all things are not necessary for you how to formulate a story how to answer such questions what different kinds of questions can be asked and one disclaimer leadership principles ko bahut hi highly treat kiya jata hai in amazon and it has almost the same weightage as a technical round to so, chaliye abhi dekhte hain ki kya kya leadership principles hai in amazon everybody knows there are around 16 leadership principles but all of them might not be applicable to you hence you should be able to identify what leadership principles are applicable for what role as well as what these leadership principles actually mean so that you can think about your past experiences and prepare proper stories accordingly first and foremost with the customer obsession so it is probably one of the most important leadership principles with respect to amazon because as we say amazon is the most customer centric company in the world hence it is one of the most important leadership principles that you will ever come across in amazon ab customer obsession ka kya matlab hai by customer obsession we basically mean is that as an individual you should always think about the customer what the customer will want how the things that you do will benefit the customer and you should always in any decision that you make for your product customer should be in the center of that decision customer obsession se agar aapko koi question puchta hai to aapko aise stories batane chahiye aapko aise experiences apne batane chahiye which basically highlights how customer centric you are kaise uh, at each and every decision that you make or that you had made for Uh, the product that you are building is actually in complete relation with the clients or the customers that your team has second is ownership this is again one of the most valuable leadership principle in amazon period ownership means that you take the complete charge of a particular product that you are creating and do not only concern yourself with the tasks that has been assigned to you so इस केस में अगर आपको कुछ आंसर करने हैं या कोई एक्सपीरियंसेस निकालने हैं तो थिंक अबाउट दोज एक्सपीरियंसेस इन योर पास्ट वेयर इन यू शोड एक्जैक्टली दिस स्ट्रेट और इज इन बेट एंड सिंप्लीफाई एंड एज द नेम सजेस्ट दिस बेसिकली मीन्स दैट अ लीडर शुड ऑलवेज बी एबल टू इनोवेट एंड सिंप्लीफाई द करेंट प्रोसेस दैट आर इन प्लेस तो इसके क्वेश्चन को आंसर करने के लिए आई वुड सजेस्ट दैट थिंक अबाउट दोज एक्सपीरियंसिस जहां पर तुमने हॉट अबाउट सम इनोवेटिव आइडिया to simplify your workflow you thought about some innovative idea which reduced the complexity of the software that you were building number 4 is our writer lock which as the name suggests means that a particular leader the decisions that a leader makes is generally right uh, from an sd hiring standpoint this is not important so i will not waste any for it number 5 is learn and be curious now this is extremely important and as the name suggests it basically says that a particular leader that a leader is always curious to learn new things and implement new things in order to better the existing solution so isme think about your past experiences jahan pe you went out of your way to learn these new technologies on your own and used it in your current work in order to improve the solution that is present number 6 is hire and develop the best as the name suggests it basically says that you 
hire the best people as well as develop them and help them grow in their own roles. This is not at all important from an SD hiring standpoint, so I will be skipping this as well. Seventh is insists on higher standards, which, which as the name suggests that as an SDE, as a leader, you should always, always think about solutions which are most optimal. Hence, here to answer these questions, I would say that as a experiences ke mein socho, where you proposed an optimal solution to solve a problem that you were facing. Number eight is think big. Here it basically says that a particular leader, a leader uh, or as an SDE, you should always be not limited to the amount of work that you are exposed to and always think about the bigger picture in place and develop solutions such that it can solve a wide problem. So if you have to answer related questions, ko answer karna hai, I would suggest that you think about your experiences where you not only thought about your product or the part of product that you were working on, but looked at a bigger picture and came up with a solution that is more elegant as well as useful as well as optimal. Number nine is bias for action. It is also very important as an SD because in your career, you will be faced with situations where you would have to decide between time to delivery as well as the quality of a particular product. Certain times, obviously, you will be choosing quality over time to delivery. But there will come situation where you would have to prioritize the time to deliver a particular project over quality. And bias for action essentially tells you to do that. I really hope that you are liking my content till now. If you are, then like the video, share it among your friends and viewers and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And again, this is my Instagram account. Uh, as I've said multiple times in the previous video, I have lost access to the previous account. So go there and follow me here and ask away any questions that you have. I consistently try to answer as many queries as possible. Today's video is sponsored by Cryo. So let's just take a look at it. Today's video is sponsored by Cryo. Let's just take a look at a special message by them. So Cryo is a project-based learning platform that helps you to build internship level projects so that you can improve your resume as well as improve your software development skills so that you can land great job offers from top tech companies. It is unlike normal video based courses where there are pre-recorded lectures that you just listen here. Actually, you get your hands dirty and build several projects from scratch. Not only this, they also provide placement assistance. There are two major courses. One is for the full stack developer. The other one is for the back end developer. You will get free trial for both of the courses. Not only this, if you do wish to actually avail discounts on those courses, you can get a 10% discount. All you have to do is go to the link in the description below unlock your email id here and get the 10 percent extra off by putting my name as the coupon code next is frugality jiska matlab hai that you are not uh, spending too much amount of money while you are working uh, this is again not very important from an sde standpoint right now so i will be skipping that number 11 is on trust on trust ka matlab hai, as a leader you are able to on trust of your peers Arthat, tum itna acha kaam karo ki tumhare jo peers hai tumhare jo colleagues hai wo tumhe trust kare to execute karne ke liye successfully without a shadow of doubt. So think about such scenarios where you were able to earn trust of your colleagues in a very short span of time and implement impactful projects for the company you were working at. Next is Dive Deep. Now this is like immensely important for an SD role. It basically means that uh, you should have the ability to uh, learn on the job. You should have the ability to research about different aspects, different things that come up in your job. As simple as that. So think about such scenarios as to answer in your past experience, where you were uh, faced with a problem, you were given a problem to solve and you had to learn new things. You had to, you know, go deep and uh, research about new things in order to solve this problem. Number 13, have backbone, disagree and commit. Again, this is very important if you are an SDE or a leader anywhere. Uh, it basically means that as a leader, Whenever you see that something is not right in your team, in your organization, in your company, in your project, whatever the scope it is, if you see something is not right, you should come up and speak up about it because as a leader, you should always look for the benefit of the application for the benefit of your end customer. So, this is answer to these situations ke mein socho, jaha, uh, you, you know, oppose, you challenge the status quo, you figured out a problem that was present in the process of your company, you came up with a solution for that and convinced everyone why there was a problem, what was the problem and how to solve, how to resolve it. Uh, leadership number 14 is deliver results, which basically means 
लीडर विद मोस्टली डिलीवर रिजल्ट सो कभी भी अगर तुमको कोई काम दिया जाए यू बींग लीडर आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू डिलीवर दैट प्रोजेक्ट डिलीवर दैट वर्क विद सुप्रीम क्वालिटी Now there are these two additional leadership principles that were added recently. One is strive to be the world's best employer. Again, uh, it's very straightforward as the name suggests, and it is not at all uh, applicable for an SDE. So uh, we will skip that. Uh, and the last one, but on the list, is success and scale bring broad responsibility, and this is again not specifically related to SDE. So we will skip in this as well. So these behavioral questions are always situation based, hota hai. and uh, it is like uh, same throughout the industry. चाहे आप एमेजॉन में इंटरव्यू करो चाहे आप गूगल पे करो चाहे आप ट्वीलियो में करो चाहे आप सर्विस नाउ में करो या कहीं पर भी करो डजेंट पाए किस टाइप के क्वेश्चन होते हैं इट्स जनरली लाइक दिस कि टेल मी अबाउट अ टाइम व्हेन यू वर फेस्ड विद अ प्रॉब्लम एंड दैट प्रॉब्लम हैड मल्टीपल सॉल्यूशंस हाउ डिड यू रिस्पॉन्ड टू अ प्रॉब्लम व्हाट काइंड ऑफ सॉल्यूशंस यू केम अप विद व्हिच वन यू सिलेक्टेड व्हाई यू सिलेक्टेड देम एंड व्हाट वर द लर्निंग एक और ही क्वेश्चन हो सकता है कि टेल मी अबाउट अ टाइम व्हेन यू हैड टू टेक अ लीड ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट एंड हाउ डिड यू परफॉर्म देयर डिड यू सक्सीड और फेल एक और क्वेश्चन हो सकता है लाइक टेल मी अबाउट अ टाइम व्हेन यू हैव टू टेक अ रिस्क इंप्लीमेंट समथिंग न्यू एंड इट फेल्ड हाउ डिड यू रिस्पॉन्ड हाउ योर टीम रिस्पॉन्डेड एंड हाउ डिड यू ग्रो फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर एक्सपीरियंस नाउ यू मे आस्क कि ऐसे क्वेश्चंस को आंसर कैसे करेंगे मतलब मेरा तो दिमाग ही नहीं चलता कि सोचे कैसे या बताए कैसे इस क्वेश्चन को तो जनरली अक्रॉस द इंडस्ट्री किसी भी कंपनी में वन थिंग इज प्रेफर्ड इज बेसिकली नोन एज द स्टार मेथड और एस टी ए आर वेयर एस स्टैंड फॉर सिचुएशन टी स्टैंड फॉर टास्क A stands stands for for action, R stands for result. तो कभी भी अगर ऐसे क्वेश्चन को आंसर करना हो तो ऑलवेज थिंक अबाउट योर पास्ट एक्सपीरियंसिस इन दिस फॉर्मैट नाउ आई विली यू नो गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल एज टू हाउ टू आंसर अ पर्टिकुलर सैम्पल क्वेश्चन विथ पास्ट एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ योर्स हाउ टू टेल सो लिसन केयरफुली टू दी एग्जाम्पल दैट आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू राइट नाउ लेट मी आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन टेल मी अबाउट टाइम वेन यू वेर फेस विद अ प्रॉब्लम इट हैड मल्टीपल सोल्यूशन how you figured out which solution to take how you convinced others which solution to take and what was the end result of it fair enough so how i would have answered is like this so there was a situation wherein one of the library slash api provider that our application dependent on the license of that particular library was getting over that particular library as well as its implementation used to cost us around 100000 dollars every year so this is the situation which i have established now according to star i will talk about the task that we had at hand then i will talk about the actions that i take and the corresponding result that it had now basically the particular library was a two factor authentication library slash api provider which we had taken license to that particular library was a one stop solution for two factor authentication which we were plugging it in into our application however the cost was very high hence we were tasked to find out different libraries different api providers that we can use which will reduce this cost now what i did is basically i deep dive into different api providers that are present right now for this particular use case i looked into twilio i looked into authy i looked into verify i looked into two factor authentication and so on and so forth in order to understand the core essence of those apis some of them were a one stop one stop multi factor authentication solution on the other hand some of them were just just a message and a phone call delivery system depending upon the scale at which we operated and the projection for the next 3 years i came up with a cost to benefit analysis and came up with a proper document for it not only this i proposed to set document to the respective stakeholders and added my recommendation on top of it which was ultimately implemented by me and it correspondingly resulted into savings of around 82000 dollars every year so all you need to do is think about these past experiences come up with an explanation in the star format for these past experiences and prepare well i really hope that you liked this particular video if you did then obviously hit the like button share it among your friends and peers and subscribe to my channel if you have not already this is somyajit bidding goodbye tasvinaria